What's going on, people? Welcome back to Ungama Alphabet. And we got a question in from a viewer that asks, Oh, hey, how do you manage your time? Or how do you find time to do certain things? I say that if you can make time to go to someone's funeral or chat to somebody on Facebook for 10 minutes or watch a YouTube video or watch an episode of your favorite television show, there's always time. Even if it's, you know, 10 minutes for doing something important, you'd rather be learning learning an instrument or mastering a, f a street fighter combo, we tend to prioritize what we find what's more important. So there was someone that I met who wanted to practice his drawing, find time to practice his drawings. And his daily schedule consisted of him going to work, playing video games for a few hours, and mostly hanging out with his friends. Now, there are a few options, a few routes this person can take. He could work, play the few video games that he wanted to play, and then practice his drawing while sacrificing his friends. And then there's another option to reduce the amount of time that you spent for each activity. He could uh, reduce the amount of time he spent with his friends, reduce the amount of time he spent playing video games, or reduce the amount of time he spent practicing his drawing to balance each activity out so that the person wouldn't have to sacrifice anything. And so it's just a matter of priorities, a matter of importance. And so another theme, let's say that your personal computer is slow and you have a huge project to be doing. You want to be sure that you're doing it in a high quality, fast computer to, you know, increase the uh, productivity. That would mean like less time being spent on that project. So you may want to, you know, one option is, you know, buy a new one, but you don't have to buy a new one. You could probably think of, you know, creative ways to work on a faster computer. There may be a friend that you know, or there could be a, a nearby college that you're at, or perhaps a nearby library, or some location with a high-tech computer. The opportunities are out there just look for them and the same would go for if you have distractions in your house that would mean a much more slower production you can probably again go to a friend's house work at a at a local public library or somewhere separate that's not within that house and another thing that could decrease your time spent on things as you prioritize your time is a, a reduction in mental fog if you have friends that make you feel bad or jealous about yourself, you constantly uh, are getting like bad advice from them. You tend to become who you most hang around often, so you'll constantly be getting horrible vibes about yourself. That blockage will have a reduction in productivity, and a reduction in productivity is wasted time. You don't want that drama. Feeling better leads to an increase in productivity levels. And you know, just trust your emotions. If the vibes don't feel right, don't be around the the place or it or them. You know, prioritize for something better. Also, another tip to give you guys is to become the ruler of your own direction. Because there are so many other people that want to control which direction you should go. They want to control what you want to spend your time on. And a lot of people get caught in that trap because they don't want to see be seen as uh, assholes or so. And so to share from a personal experience, I was working on a project on the computer at a school and I had a couple of people just come and talk to me. So I respectfully told them that I just wanted to focus on my project, you know, and I didn't feel like talking at that moment in time because usually I like to put 100% focus as to whatever I'm doing. So if I'm talking to you, I will put 100% focus on talking to you. If I'm eating, I'm going to put 100% focus while I'm eating. So I wouldn't really eat and then talk at the same time. That's just how I am. I just I just take it slow and I do one thing at a time when I'm working with people and when I'm doing things. So I 100% focus goes into everything that I do. I don't prefer to go 80% or 70% or 50%. I'd rather dive into whatever I'm doing. So yeah, that's just me. That's what I explained. So yeah, so this is how I usually prioritize my time and manage it. It's how effective you can creatively think 
about the uh, opportunities that are around you. You don't want to work for the world. You want to make the world work for you. That's the video. You people are awesome for watching. Feel free to join the family by clicking that subscribe button and express your thoughts with a comment later. Uh, just respectfully, just say no. No, just, uh, you know, no is very powerful. A lot of people don't say no, but you know, just, just be like, no, I don't want to do it.